then um, you have a new model to show me that's, uh, it was in prototype when we saw it last fall, but now it's actually in production. Yes, we have the Chinook. It's the latest to our model. It's part of our urban series. Uh, it's still an all-around functional trailer, multifunctional. You can still stroll with it, you can jog, you can hike, bike, ski. Uh, some of the advantages that we have with this is it's more of that urban explorer carrier. It allows you to actually have a car seat adapter where you can actually have that car seat facing, having a nice face-to-face -face contact with the kids. That is really high up. Uh, one of the things that we want here is uh, that nice face-to-face -face contact, but what we don't want them to do, because it's a multifunctional carrier, is we don't want them cycling with it. So we've actually engineered into the product uh, an ability to not be able to cycle while the child's up here. Great the idea. cycling arm is actually locked out, so you cannot actually engage your cycling arm into the wing as long as your stroller is in any of its stroller mode positions. In order to actually cycle, you have to take your child out of the carrier, put them inside the carrier, Take your car seat off. And this is going to allow us to actually put the handlebar into its cycling mode. Getting uh -huh. it in this mode, it's going to prevent us from putting a car seat up top. So you're not going to be able to actually cycle with the child until they're inside the carrier. This is now opening up the wing where it will allow you to engage the cycling arm. So you can actually engage your cycling arm into the click and store, out of the click and store mode. You can actually use this where you cycle across town to the market. Once you get to the market, you can start scrolling. So while you're cycling, your stroller wheel locks out underneath the product. So now you can actually bike across town to the market, get to the market, open up the stroller wheel, you're ready to start scrolling. Sorry with my thumb. This can come out, goes into the click and store mode, and now you're all set to start strolling through the market shopping. If the child's a little bit tired, you have the ability here to the reclining seat. So you have oh, a 45 wow, that's degree great. reclining yeah. seat. That's great. You also have a removable diaper bag color matched to the product, so you can load it up. It's got an insulated compartment to keep things either warm or cold. When you move inside the product itself, you can get a better idea of what's happening here with the reclining seat. You can actually see the reclined position. For the smaller children, when they're in the reclined position, just so their legs aren't hanging over and they're getting pressure points, you've got the nice foot pad for it so their legs aren't hanging over. The larger kids, the older kids, when it's sitting upright, this can actually fold away. And it gives them full access to the footwell here. You guys have thought of everything with this. This has to be the most versatile stroll I've ever seen, I think. Well, our whole goal is any activity you did before you had kids, you can continue to do with kids. Except that people really shouldn't run with their baby in the car seat. Not in the car seat, no. We recommend that they're inside the carrier, uh, both for running and definitely for cycling. What age limit, or what age would you recommend that people run with their stroll, with their child inside? We don't recommend that they start running until they're six months old. Six months, okay. And then not cycling okay. until they're a year old and able cycling to wear a Cycling a year, okay. Yes. Now, uh, what's the retail on this? Retail on this is, there's two, two packages, a bundle package on this, which comes with everything that you see here, car seat adapter, diaper bag. Uh, for a single model, you're at $1,100, uh, okay. and for a double model, you're at $1,175. Okay. And then you said there's another version? So, well, you can buy an unbundled version. The unbundled version would not come with a car seat adapter or the diaper bag. Okay. And uh, that would have actually put it at $950 and $975. And this is for sale now? It is available in the shops now. Terrific.